What is up guys, Zack Scott here playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I'm back on this roof because I heard that if you give this girl different drinks, she'll give you uh, different TMs. Uh, so let's, we've given her water. Let's give her a soda pop as well. Here we go. I read the comments yesterday and you actually taught me something interesting. Also get some lemonade. Gonna have those and uh, no, we're good now. Um, and I'll show you in a second what, what I learned. Let me go ahead and give her these. Uh, she's still thirsty even though I gave her some water. So let's give her some, uh, which drink? Soda pop. Here we go. What kind of stuff? I got reflect. Okay. And then let's give her another one here. One more. One more. Still thirsty, huh? And let's give her the final drink that I have here, which is lemonade. And I got, uh, okay, protect. So these are all protection based, right, TMs? Anyway. I did that, we gotta get out of here now, but I wanna show you what I learned, and uh, one, you guys told me to go ahead and use a Firestone on Growlithe, but someone who seems to know uh, what you know a little bit more about Growlithe said to go ahead and wait till he's like level 40 or 45 so we can learn some more moves and then evolve him. So maybe I'll do that, I don't know. If you guys have any more specific feedback about that, let me know. But also, I put a Waterfall on G-Dog, and you guys were telling me to do that, I guess, before I got it. Um, but the reason why, that was a good move is because uh, if you take a look at G-Dog, he's more of a uh, regular attack uh, than a special attack type of character. And so Waterfall is a more physical attack rather than a special attack. So that was better uh, than Scald for him. Uh, it was maybe a mistake to replace uh, the Bite with Dark Pulse, but you know, I can make mistakes, it's fine. But the reason why to, um, to keep Scald on M-Dog rather than uh, rather than replace that with Waterfall is because if you look at his summary, uh, M-Dog is more of a special attack type, look, 110, more of a special attack type character. So very cool. Uh, that's good to know. So Scald, you know, same power of 80, but this is a more special attack. So this is why it was Scald would be better on him. So that's interesting to know. And now that I know that, I would be looking for maybe a ground that's instead of a physical would be a special attack. So I don't know if I if there anything like that, I, that he can learn any other TMs that are ground-based teams, but that's important to know. And uh, and knowing that, you know, if you look at uh, Graveler here, uh, if you check his summary, Graveler is more of a physical attack. So Dig would work really well, um, but Earthquake works better. So, you know, <laughs> but Dig would work really well for him. So I can maybe teach him uh, Dig as well. But anyway, one thing we need to do before we go is we need to uh, leave this area and we need to, um, Find out how to get back. So I'm gonna go down. I haven't, you know, I asked you guys about TMs. I could buy that bug TM, I don't know. Let's go to the trainer's market. It's cheap, and I don't know who else is gonna want them, but let me take a look really quick at the bug-based TM. Uh, I don't know if I have any, like, bug moves, so it could be something to buy. Uh, this is, uh, what is it, is it U-turn? What, what is it called? Yeah, it's a bug attack. Power of 70. It's a physical one, though, so I wouldn't necessarily give it to M Dog. I don't know. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I truly don't know. Um, Shadow Ball. This is a, what, ghost attack? But that's a, um, a, a special ghost attack. Shadow Ball could work out really well. Uh, that would be strong against psychics and ghosts itself. I could buy that, I guess. Let's go ahead and buy it. And then if I have any, if I confront any psychics or ghosts soon, maybe I could teach that to, uh, to uh, M Dog there, bulk up. Eh, I don't know. Uh, try attack. That's just a special, but it's a uh, it's a normal. Power of 80. Waterfall. More of a physical. So I'm thinking about M Dog here. Something that I would give him would be special attacks. Dragon Tail. That's a more physical attack too, which is why the Dragon Tail was a good choice uh, for um, for G uh, for uh, yeah G Dog. G Dog? No, no G Dogs. No. Graveler. I haven't named Graveler yet. I did not mean to quit. Let's just go down to the first floor. I'm learning stuff here. And and the, the question is then, you know, who would be better? Graveler or Rhyhorn? I don't know. I really don't know. Look at my bag really quick. I have uh, my Pokemon box. And so we, we know that Graveler is more about physical attacks. But what about Rhyhorn? Although he is level 21 now. We can check a summary and see if he's more of a physical type of guy. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, good to know. Anyway, let's get out of here. We've got to, um, excuse me, excuse me. 
I've been sticking with this party for the past couple of videos. Let me know if there are any Pokemon I should slip in here because I really could use some better Pokemon, obviously. I, well, I always want bigger and better Pokemon. Not necessarily bigger, but better. All right. No, he just wants to talk about the water. Come on now. Now, when I left this, I saw this, and I didn't do anything about it, but this guy has balloons. What's up, dude? Oh, you're curious, aren't you? You're, you're curious about me and this machine. I want to call that a machine. There are no moving parts. Uh, do you want to know the details? Yes. Okay, if you insist. This machine is a great vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. It's a marvelous invention, if I do say so myself. It's not an exaggeration to say that this is a secret technique. Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be a courageous young boy. I'll tell you how to ride this machine, the secret technique, Sky Dash. Oh, that Pikachu wants to fly my invention instead of you? Great, it matches my inspiration perfectly. All right, let's get right into it. Do this and that, hold this handle and pull. Uh, then th uh, that will be like that, and these balloons, uh, you're in the air. Are there moving parts? Maybe the wheel is a moving part, I don't know. But I got Sky Dash, Pikachu knows how to uh, to do the Sky Dash. Select uh, P-Dog and select Secret Techniques. All right, you can have this machine, so be sure to enjoy many trips through the sky, thanks. Everyone here is so, so generous. How do I do it, though? I totally don't even know. P-Dog, and I'm like, yo, P-Dog. And he's like, what? And I'm like, how do I, how do, I do it? I totally forget how to do secret techniques. He just told me, and I forget how to do it. I, I didn't read, to be honest. How do I do secret techniques? I'm such a fool. Is it in the map? Was it in the map? Let's see, bag. Oh my gosh, I wish that I had, okay. Use this item. Uh, Lavender Town. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, that's how you do it. So that's where I would go back, right, for the ghosts? I'm curious though, oh, there was a sleeping guy this way. So that's why that wouldn't work. Okay, let's go back to Lavender Town. And then uh, I can then in go into, man, that ghost move would be really helpful. because I'm gonna probably be fighting ghosts. Let's go ahead and heal up my Pokemon before we go back into that tower, though. Hello. Let's go ahead and give them a rest. Nice. All right. So, if we're talking about giving M-Dog a ghost move, I mean, I could definitely see that happening. TM cases. Who else is going to have a ghost move other than M Dog, right? So, uh, Shadow Ball. Use this TM on M Dog. And what would it replace? That's a good question. Uh, the dig move. I mean, I don't know. Psy Wave. Swift. Scald. Maybe Scald, honestly, because I can learn Scald again. Although Scald is good on him. Shadow Ball would be different. Maybe the Dig. Maybe uh, instead of the, maybe I'll, I'll just go with Dig. Yeah, let's let's remove Dig. I can always relearn Dig, right? All right, there you go. Okay, let's head back. And let's go into that spooky tower and see what we gotta do here, because I really don't know. Hey, little girl. Don't go disturbing things. I'm gonna. Oh, hey. So that's Cubone's mom? That's right. Team Rocket keeps on going after Marowak so it can sell those skulls they wear for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for its mother even though she's gone. I just can't forgive that Team Rocket. Me neither. I saw Cubone heading into the tower a little while ago, too. I'll go look for it, and I'll keep an eye out for that Mount Fuji, too. The one who's been missing. Oh, Mr. Fuji. Sorry. <laughs> Mount Fuji. Mr. Fuji. Thank you, and be careful. All right. I, I really don't like ghosts, but I gotta do this. Yeah, don't stop him or anything. Oh, oh, he saw me. Ah, Z-Dog, nice timing. You caught most of that, right? Well, what do you say, you wanna come with me? Yes. Uh, thanks, pal. It'll be a big relief to have you. I'll just let you lead the way, okay? I hope you get lost in there. <laughs> Let's go back up and see what this uh, town's all about. Not this town, this tower is all about. Once we're up at the top, uh, I guess I'm leading the way, and he's somewhere. 
All right, so don't get hit by the ghostesses. I'm a little confused though. Oh uh, yeah, I I don't remember the paths here. Now these these people, you there? If you wish to know the truth behind the wandering spirits haunting this tower, well, even we channelers couldn't identify them. But maybe with the right tool, yes, perhaps a sylph scope might let one see the truth behind this mystery. So I have one of those sylph scopes. So there. We're gonna have some fun with that, hopefully. Now, I've already fought all these things, so. Ugh, do you think that there really are ghosts in here? Z Dog, what's that? The Sylph Scope re revealed the ghost's true form. Oh my gosh, they're Pokemon. W whoa, that's crazy. Did these ghosts were actually Pokemon? I could see myself capturing them. Oh, wh where'd they go, though? Okay, never mind. I was gonna try to capture the Pokemon. They say you gotta catch them all, but not if they just disappear on you. Oh, there they are. Yeah, so let's capture some Pokemon. I need to put M Dog in the top. Wow, Ghastly. Although, oh no, that's right, that's right. Uh, what balls am I using? Bag. Ultra balls are okay right now. Let's go ahead and uh, get ready with the Ultra Ball. That was great. Got to get some new ghost-like Pokemon, right? No, stay in there. No, oh, come on. Don't try to scare me. Whatever. Ugh. Come on, move. What? Oh my god, I hate this guy. Okay, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm using too many balls in this guy. What a waste. I'll try another one. Here we go. Here we go. I want you to be front and centered. I haven't figured out. You dork. Ugh. I'm switching balls. What a waste. I hate wasting those balls. Let's do regular Pokeballs. Here we go. I have enough to just throw these and who cares where they land. Maybe you'll stick in them, maybe you won't. I don't care at this point. Yeah, yeah. No one expected that. All right. I hate wasting Ultra Balls. I don't know why I'm better at throwing these. Come on! Ugh, you dork. I wish I didn't have to click get ready. I don't know if this is gonna work. Come on! That was excellent. Stay in, please. Yes. All right, ghastly. Nice. All right. There we go. So what's so special about ghastly here? He's a ghost poison Pokemon. That's pretty cool. And I should have read what it said, but okay, got a ghastly. Uh, what level was that ghastly? Because I don't remember. This is level 31. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. Wow. Awesome. I caught another one. I'll compare those two later. The experience that I get isn't great, great, but you know, it's it's not bad either. All right, I'll compare the two, send one back. I'm only getting 191 experience from this. All right, let me take a look really quick in my bag. Pokemon box. Oh yeah, these. 
2931. Okay, so we're going to send... I'm going to send uh, to the professor. There we go. All right, send all these over. And I got some new candies as well. I need to be using those uh, candies, man. I have not been using them. Well, let's go up here. We're gonna find out what this big ghost is all about. Because there's something that showed up here and he was, did not want me to pass through. Be gone, says the ghost. But I'm like, I know you're not a ghost. You're a Pokemon. Be gone, intruders. Oh, boy. It's creepy, right? Gah! This, this is even bigger than the last one. Use the thing. The, the thing you used last time. Here we go. I'm looking at you. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. That's his mom. Is she dead? Is she a, like a ghost? Oh, no. That's sad. I don't know if that would be a horrifying experience or an uplifting one. The true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Q-Bone's mother. The mother's spirit was calm, returning to its kind and gentle nature. It departed to the afterlife and disappeared. Q-Bone, you... You just came here because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? Sorry for thinking your mom was scary, Q-Bone. Z-Dog, I... I don't want to leave Q-Bone alone like this. I'm going to go take it home. Oh, and if there's someone named Fuji upstairs, do you think you could see him home too? You sure you've got you sure okay by yourself? Uh, I'll be fine. I'm with Cubone now after all. You've gotten pretty gutsy, haven't you, Z Dog? What? You rescued Cubone from Team Rocket? When did you go and get that strong? Right. Well, then guess I'll leave this up to you, Z Dog. Come on, Cubone. All right. Kind of a sad sad moment, right? But hey, this area opened up. A rare candy. That's good. Now, I know I've seen a lot of these uh, these ghastlies here. A PP up. I have a few PP ups that I haven't used yet. Are there any others? Like, let me let me take a look at this really quick. This one's level thirty one as well. What about this other one? Uh, that's even worse. Run away from this one. Okay, so I'm expecting like the the really big one, you know, the really really big one. I don't know what they're called, but I saw one. Are there any here that are like that? This is level 30. I'll just run away. I could maybe take a uh... oh one of those candies. What are they called? I don't see any more. I don't know if it's worth it to try to catch one, or maybe I'll just find one later. There he is. Here, here we go. All right, what's the deal with you? He's big boy. A wild haunter. All right, level 28 only, though, but here, sure, get ready. I'll just use the regular ball. That looked perfect, come on. He's probably not gonna stay in here, obviously. Never mind. Nice, I caught a Haunter. That's some, that's some okay experience, not the best. But I caught a new Pokemon, that's good. By licking it saps the victim's life. It causes shaking that won't stop until the victim's demise. Is a Haunter just an evolved of the other one or not? I don't know. Let me just check in the corner here, no? Well, let's go upstairs. Maybe Mr. Fuji is here, I don't know. Look at this place. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. Stop right there. We'll be going first. 
with that specter out of the way, we can finally get to the top. You're you're the old geezer they call Mr. Fuji, right? You're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Mr. Fu Fuji has nothing to say. Ignore us all you like. We're used to it. We won't take no for an answer. You'll help the boss, whether you want to or not. Well, I don't know about that. Uh... Gramps here thinks he can resist, so we're setting him straight. You'd better disappear, Twerp, or be prepared to fight. I'm prepared to fight. I win all the time against you guys. All right, Jesse and James. Uh, and Arbok, which is the snakes, and oh, this is the same thing they said last time. These are poison, so poisons are gonna be weak against uh, ground and psychic attacks. Uh, so I don't happen to have those. Uh, they are actually a higher power too. Uh, but what I could do, no, that won't work. Man, yeah, I gotta switch Pokemon basically. Uh, I could do, let me make sure. Arbok is what? Let's see. Arbok is what? Yeah, he's just a straight up poison, psychic and ground. And then Weezing is also just a poison, so. Uh, weakness is psychic. Uh, so psychic. Okay. Well, to me, what this says is, hey, let's just attack him straight up. I'll get around to switching soon. Uh, what's? Let's see. Out. What's outrage? One twenty. That's fine. Here we go. Here we go. Let's just give the, give this a shot. I know I'm probably going to be poisoned. Almost destroyed. This is a powerful move, though. Even though if it's not like, you know. There you go. There you go. What? You killed him. Okay. Fine. Well, Graveler's here. Graveler, this is great because I get to use Earthquake. All right, this is awesome. Hello. All right, we're gonna use uh, Waterfall again. Uh, I'm gonna use him against Arbok. And this is so cool. Earthquake is gonna work really well. I'm excited about this. Against all of them, including G Dog. Oops. Oops. Ow, ow. Sorry, G Dog. I hope you don't mind. Dark Pulse against him. Very damaging. Oh, I can't move because I flinched? Son of a gun. Well, good luck. Here comes Waterfall at Arbok. Here we go. And I'm going to fight. Why not? Earthquake, let's just take us all out. Let's go. Goodbye, Arbok. All right. This is going to be hilarious, by the way. Oh, P Dog is 38. Awesome. Sludge Bomb. Yikes. That's fine. Uh, he's poisoned, unfortunately, but. Here's Earthquake. Doesn't affect G Dog, that, which is great. Thank you for not affecting G Dog. How the heck did that work out for me? Super effective, although G Dog is poisoned. Uh, let's just fight. Let's just, however we can. Waterfall coming at you. Uh, to you. And then let's do uh, what's going to be a good, what's takedown? Sure, why not? Let's just do takedown. I think the waterfall is going to hit first. That's a great move. Awesome. Okay, we did it. We got gotcha. you. What do you want? You'll regret this. I don't think I will regret this. That's the thing. I don't think I will at all. Ah, uh, seriously? Again? Looks like Operation Stealthily Kidnap Fuji is a bust then. Don't you think I know that? It'll be fine. We just have to help out with the takeover of Sylph Co. in Saffron City. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. So what's with you? Mr. Fuji doesn't say a word. Oh, and who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket? Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. 
I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. If the Pokemon house... It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Okay. So, Z-Dog, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. The Poke Flute. What does that do? Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. I know where two are, so thank you so much, Mr. Fuji. Has my Poke Flute helped you? No, I haven't left your house. You must be going senile. <laughs> I haven't left your house at all. <laughs> okay, well, let's heal. Uh, let's heal my uh, characters here. Have I talked to everyone here? You rescued that Cubone from Team Rocket? Wow, that's pretty amazing. Take these as a thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. Indeed, great balls actually really do help me. I bet someone brave like you could go up to that Pokemon Tower. No problem. Yeah, it was no problem. Don't worry about it. This town is famous for all the graves made here for Pokemon. They hold memorial services in the Pokemon Tower for Pokemon that have passed away. I know. You just like the look of flowers. I know you. All right, so... They said they were going to Saffron City. I can't fly there. All right, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon real quick. There we go. Gotta love that. I know I do. Thanks for waiting. Your Pokemon should be all better now. We hope to see you again. And so, oh, yeah, what happens, huh? All right, you just like looking at them, right? Yes, you do, okay, fine. Fine. I thought I was gonna get to use a ghost move. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes, I've seen them, really, so there are believers. I've seen them, it's not that I just believe in them, it's that I've seen them with my own, uh, what do you see them with, eyes? What's in the store? Is there anything in store that I that I really want? More balls. Can I buy some balls? Gotta get some balls. I'm here to buy. Let's get some ultra balls. Because I just used a whole... Man, they're expensive, man. I threw threw away, like, so many of them. I threw away, like, 500 gold each time I used them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save these uh, for only things that really matter. I got a premier ball as a bonus? Why, thank you, sir. Dear sir. All right, I'm out. I'm out. No, I'm good. I'm good. Let's head out a little bit. This episode won't be as long as the previous two. I know that those push well over an hour. And I don't like doing that to you guys. Route 12. This is the one with the water. There's a sleeping dude there. Or is there? I'm so confused. Can I ride... Uh. How do I how do I ride the the can I ride my gyrodose or whatever? I don't know if I can. That's okay. I didn't want to anyway. I did, but you know, whatever. So, uh Sup, dude. There's a lookout area upstairs with binoculars. The view is magnificent. Well, let's go upstairs then, huh? Oh yeah, I've done this already. I've done this, haven't I? But I'll, I'll take a look. Uh, it's a Pokemon Tower. Great. A man fishing. Such an amazing view. Oh, my Pokemon's ashes were resting. Uh, she said, you can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. I got Roost. Why, thank you so much. A forgetful old man lives on Route 12, or so I hear. So I think I'll find a sleeping guy. Is there, There's a sleeping Pokemon right here, right? Snor is it Snorlax? Snorax? I don't remember the name. Hey, I'm Fisherman. Yeah, I got a bite here. Oh, great. Am I going to be fighting water types? Fisherman Ned, if so. Electric and grass... There's a star you. I think that must be. He's level 27. Let's switch Pokemon. I 
All right. No, not confused, Ray. That's okay. That's okay. Get ready for Zippy Zap. Whether I'm confused or not, we'll see what happens. It's like, so what if I'm confused? You still get destroyed. All right, super effective. Critical hit, everyone's happy. Awesome. All right, take that, Ned. Just a small fry. I got three Pokeballs, though. Hold, hang on, hang on, my line snagged. All right. There are a lot of fishermen here. Be patient, fishing is a waiting game. All right. I'm challenged by Fisherman Chip. Polo Whirl. That's a water type. I should probably have switched. Uh, let me just fight with G-Dog. I'll see what Dark Pulse is like against him. Yeah, not a, not a big deal. Hypnosis? I'm asleep. All right, well, uh, how about, can I use my, my flute or whatever? P-Dog, get out here. He's putting people to sleep. Double slap, ouch, that barely hurts. Well, guess what's gonna really hurt if I use Thunderbolt. Goodbye. All right, nice. G-Dog is 32. The one got away. I thought I was gonna start singing Katy Perry songs. Katy Perry songs. Okay, I'll take that. But where is the Snorlax? Is it over here? How do I get over there? I don't know how to ride any Pokemon, so I don't think I can. All right, here we go again. Fisherman Hank, Magikarp. Ha, that was me when I was little. All right, but I'm gonna switch over. Are you still asleep, by the way? He is, so I'm gonna keep fighting him until he stops sleeping. How's that sound? Wake up, G-Dog. Tackle. Wake up! What does Rage do? He woke up and he used Rage. Ha ha ha. Use Splash against me, that's not gonna work. Here comes another rage. Ow. My rage is building. Here we go again. I'm mad at you because you're used you're what I used to be. All right, not too bad. Uh, who's he going to send out this time? Sea King. Uh, let's just keep battling with this guy. I want to see what this rage does. Oh no, no, don't use the horn thing. You can use the horn thing. I'm gonna be so mad if you use the horn thing. Uh oh gosh, I'm dead. Oh no, I'm alive. I'm alive. It's okay. Rage is building. I thought the one horn thing is terrible. Quick attack. Ow. Oh my gosh. My rage is building. There we go, quick attack. You're not gonna like this. Gone. What happens next, huh? 
Oh, nice. Vile Plume. Level 35. Poliwag. Let's just keep let's keep battling. I mean, this is working out with the rage, right? Oh, what a cute little guy who's gonna get pummeled. <laughs> the rage works. Eh, that worked since he had three. Might as well, right? A touch too much to handle. All right. Well, that worked out stupendously for me. Found a repel. What does this say? Fishing area. Hello. I love fishing, don't get me wrong, but I'd best be but I'd be best if I also had more work. You turn your fishing into a job. Provide food for your local village. Elliot. Oh, it's me! Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch to a I'm gonna switch, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, switch out Pokemon. P Dog, you are needed urgently. Uh, thank you so much. I need to move Growlithe in my number one slot again since uh, Growlithe is, is the weakest right now. I did not like that. So prepare to zippy zap. Boom. Gone. Okay. I'm just going to keep battling with him because that seems to work out the best. No surprise, Zippy Zap against Magikarp. It's time to die. All right, it's not easy. No way, no way at all. <laughs> I tried to walk past him. Your partner sure is cute. Let's have a battle. All right, fine. Fine. Who, who are you going to send out? Ace Trainer Zach. That's not how I spell my name, by the way. Tangella. Ugh. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna switch to Electric type again. I mean, G Dog's gonna get the benefit of this, but I'm gonna switch over to uh, P Dog, and uh, over here is P Dog. There you go. So get out of there, G Dog. You did your thing. You were present for part of the battle, so you get some experience. Sleep powder? No, no. Darn it! Wake up. Great. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Zippy zap. Wake up. Wake up. Darn it. All right. Mega Drain. Oh, great. That's actually not bad. Wake up, P Dog. Wake up. <laughs> wake up. Oh, no. Come on, man. Uh, wake up, P Dog. You need to be. Thank you. I, I'm not going to worry. He woke up. Can you also heal yourself, please? I'm going to have to use a healing potion on. P dog after this. Boom! What? What? I thought Tangella was water. What is Tangella? Oh, obviously using Mega Drain, so it's a grass. Oh my gosh. Bug, ice, poison, flying, fire. Uh, I do have flying, so let's just use that. I thought, I don't know why. I was thinking like he was like a Tangle Kelp or something. Hey, oh, he's still alive! Oh, man, I'm dead. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm still alive. I don't know how, but I'm still alive. I tuffed it through, so I, I want to be sad. Thank you. All right. Let's 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 just let's just go. Here we go. I'm going to use Zippy Zap because it moves first. And, uh, oh, my gosh. I'm going to switch up. I thought, when I saw Tangella, I just thought in my head, I just thought it was like a Tangle Cup, you know, like water. It looks blue like water. What the heck? Okay, I gotta be I gotta be more on point with that. 
All right. Growlithe is 32. That's good for you, Growlithe, finally. Uh, Onyx. Okay, Onyx, just to be sure, is that snake-like creature, right? Onyx is a ground and rock type. Weak to water, ground, ice, grass, steel, fighting. So guess who uh, switched Pokemon? Who has the best water attack? G-Dog. So here we go. All right, here we go. We're both like snake-like creatures. There you go. That was great. Now I can go grab that ball. All right, I got to stop being fooled by cuteness. Yeah. Watch out for those cute, cute things <laughs> in life. All right, time to form a plan to distract other trainers with cuteness. I got three Ultra Balls. All right, let me go ahead and heal uh, Pikachu, P-Dog. Uh, yeah, he, he needs like a f uh, Hyper Potion. There we go. All right, we're doing good. Wakey, wakey, a Pokemon is sprawled out in a deep and comfortable slumber. I want to use the Poke Flute. Wake up. He's like, oh God. Snorlax woke up, he's looking at me and it looks hungry. Hey Z-Dog, what, what? Yeah, okay, there we go. There's something I forgot to mention when I gave you the Poke Flute. Oh, perfect timing. You see, this Pokemon is called Snorlax. It's been known to attack the first thing it sees after waking up. It thinks what it sees is food. Since it can be pretty dangerous, please help it calm it down by battling it with your Pokemon. Once you defeat it, it'll become more docile. You should be able to catch it just like any other Pokemon. Snorlax mis mistook you for food and attacked. Yep. There he is. Okay. All right, his attack rose. So Snorlax, what type is Snorlax? That's a good question that I'm asking myself right now. He is a normal. So he's uh, he's a weak against fighting, uh, so... I don't, I, I don't really have fighting going on for me right now. Let's do a uh, waterfall attack. Match time, what is that? Is that before he falls back to sleep? He's gonna use headbutt. Ow, what the heck? All right, well, here we go with this again. Ah, oh, what? He used rest. He slept and became healthy. What the what? All right, here's the deal. I'm going to switch Pokemon. Wait, can I, can I capture him right now? No, okay. Sorry. Pokemon, he's asleep, so prepare to be... I mean, I don't really have any fighting on me right now. All right, here we go. Let's try my Zippy Zap move. Got him, that was a good hit. He's still asleep. Try that again. Got him. A critical hit. So now he's like, oh gosh. So now we gotta catch him. So look at my bag. We got an Ultra Ball. That was excellent. Did you see that? Please stay in the Ultra Ball, Snorlax. Please. For all it's worth. Yes. All right. First time's a charm. I got a lot of experience. M-Dog and Graveler leveled up. M-Dog is 37. Graveler's 33. Awesome. Very cool. I'm glad that worked out. 
will eat anything, even if, if the food happens to be a little moldy. It never gets an upset stomach. Alright, so we got a Snorlax. Good for me. Oh, my Z-Dog. That was impressive. There are other Pokemon out there that will try to attack trainers, just like Snorlax did. When facing such a Pokemon, the best thing to do is defeat it, then catch it. Remember, defeat, then catch, in that order. Well, I'll see you later, then. Thank you. That was awesome, right? <laughs> All right. So, I don't know what to do now. There are more fishermen down here. I don't know. What's biting? I don't know. Fisherman Andrew, he's gonna have uh, some water types. Tentacool. G Dong's coming out. I need to switch for P Dog again, right? Yeah, he's hurting. He's hurting. So I forgot to heal him. All right. What screech do? It hurts my ears. Ouch. What just fell? Defense. I don't need defense. I got this instead. Zippy zap. I have an offense. Goodbye, Tentacool. All right. Who's coming out next? Awesome. P Dog 39. G Dog got some experience as well. Kingler. What the heck's a Kingler? I'm assuming it's a water type. Oh, it is. Electric. Oh, wait. Electric and grass. Oh, no. That's its weakness. Okay, yeah, it's a water type. <laughs> Keep battling. Wow. Here we go. Nailed it. Oh, what? He's still alive. Oh, what's he going to do to me? Slam. Oh, but thankfully, it didn't work. Here we go. Zippy Zap again. We got it, guys. Don't want to do not worry. Super effective. Goodbye, my friends. All right, I was happy about that. That worked out really well. Lost it. Well, we did a great job. And then we're over here. What is this place all about? Hello. Uh, I'm, uh, who in the world am I? It's no use, I can't remember anything. Do you think you could tell me who I might be? Move to leader. I don't know. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. Sorry to bother you with such an odd question. So I guess he's a move deleter, which I don't really need. I don't need to delete any moves. I don't think so, at least. Could be wrong. Well, is there anything else over here that's, like, really worth it, you know? There's a bunch more fighting to do. I don't know where all we're going, though. Look at this place. There is a lot more fighting. More Pokemon, too. And this is Route 13. Okay. Well, um, how about tomorrow we do Route 13? We did a lot today. There's a lot more fighting. We'll start with that tomorrow, I guess. And so come back next time for that. I will definitely see you then. Goodbye, and thank you for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other awesome videos. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Join my Discord. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. <laughs>